I'm going to try to explain how to put the grill guard on the 2024 GMC 25-3500 truck. We just learned probably an hour ago, so we're, we're still kind of learning per point two. To start with, you need a T10 uh, little quartz head screwdriver. There's one, two, three little um, screws that need to come loose to pull this back a little bit so you can get up underneath here. The, the deal is that we're after is we got to take this thing loose. Okay, you can see the grill's got to come off of here, and in order to get the grill off, this has got to come loose too, because these little clips right here actually go down into the grill. So you take this loose right here, and you can kind of get your hand up underneath there, behind there, and what you're looking for is these two little clips right here. And the bottom one do first, you're going to push that little thing in, and you can kind of pull that out. Do the top one right there and pull it out. And there's actually still a little spot right here that is in, in clipped in here too. When your hand, when you get all that loose, you can actually take your hand and instead of us pulling it from here, we just pushed it from the back, and that way you're not kind of pulling on the edges of the plastic that way. But you pull that out to get that a little bit loose right there, because that grill again goes back behind there, and that's what these little clips right there go to. So you need to do that on both sides. Um, unfortunately, this is, has to be done on the ones on the grill guard that has sensors. We, we at least could not get to the sensors without taking the bumper off. Um, if you can, we're going to show you here in a little bit the hole that you can go to. If you can get a little smaller hand than we got in there, maybe you can get it out, but we couldn't. Um, so once you get that loose on each side, you're going to come up here and you take this guy off of here, okay? It's just a bunch of little plastic clips like that. You can take a little screwdriver and you just pop it out. And you take all those little clips out. Take that T10 screwdriver again. You got to take this hood latch thing off. So that to come off and you can take that off on there. I'd advise put it right back on there in case you close the hood or something. You need to be able to open the hood. It's a pain if you don't. The next step is, is you need to take the grill off. You can see the grill. You start up here with some little 10 millimeter bolts. There's four of them, I believe. You take those off, and when you take the grill off, there's some little clips on the grill that actually go kind of behind there or in these little holes. I can't remember now. But you peel it up, and you can hear it click off a little bit and work from the top and go down. You can see, I guess, on this side here, there's one, two, three spots it is, and you can see another. There's just like little um, clips that pop in there that are on the grill. But work from the top get the top loose and kind of work down like that because those little clips prevent you from really working from the bottom up. So just work from the top and go down. Uh, if you got a camera, this is new to us too, you're also going to have the little camera washer on there. When you're taking that grill off, you need a couple people to do that. You can unplug this little washer thing right there. And then on the other side, down in here, there's actually going to be isn't that the one there? That actually is the camera plug right there that you got to take loose, okay? Then you can get your grill out of the way. Just pull careful on the, on the grill. Pull off the side, the solid parts first. Again, we've already done that. We just now learned how to do this too. But pull off the solid parts of the grill and not the little flimsy, like louvers or something right in the middle. Pull on the solid parts that's got the verticals in it. And it'll pop out of there. But again, work from the top and go down because you got to pull that loose first and then work down with it okay so you got to get the grill off because unfortunately you can actually get to the top bolt to get the bumper off but we couldn't get to the bottom bolt okay we looked up underneath there and there's a long way down but I, I don't think you can get to it if you don't take the bumper off but, or uh, the grill out to get the get to this bumper bolt so that bumper bolt right there is hard to get to that's why you got to take the grill out of there um, once you've got the bumper loose, then you need a little bit of help too, because this one with sensors and all that stuff, you got a heater plug on the other side that needs to be unbolted or unplugged, and then you've got your um, your sensor harness and all that stuff that needs to be unplugged too. So once you got the bumper off, we can go back over here, and again, we've already kind of done this a little bit. So here was your heater plug you had to unplug. Uh, this is the little hole that you can actually, once you get your grill out, before you take your bumper off, you can actually get your hand back there a little bit, but your sensor's down in there, and we could not 
get to that sensor well enough to do this because that sensor's in there and maybe you can, we couldn't or didn't try long enough. You got to pull those little ears back like that to get that sensor to pop out and it just an awfully small hole that I couldn't get my wrist turned into because it's kind of, it's not straight through, it's kind of to the side too and then over here was too far in, we just, we couldn't get to it. So that is why we took the bumper off. Um, we got these little extensions once you've got, take your, you can take your sensor out, take the factory horn, or housing out, and we're gonna, we got some little grommets we'll show you in a little while on how to put them in there that we're gonna put where this little housing went in the factory bumper to keep the wire from rubbing and all that. But this harness needs to go on there, and that's gonna go on there as that nature, and then you're gonna push that little red thing back, and that's how you get it loose from the sensor too, okay? Once you've got that, then just fish that through the opening. Get that big plug down in there. And we're going to see here in a little bit how we can do the slack and all that. We're kind of learning a little bit too here. But um, get, that, get that sensor harness through there. And then you're ready to put your bumper back on. But while we're here, we've already notched this thing. On the outside, we've got a bracket that goes to the outside of the frame that needs to go in there and this is closed in. See which one, it's gonna be kind of closed in like that, okay? If you look on the front of the bumper, there's like a little groove right there that we cut straight down. Once we cut straight down that groove, we got this out and you actually do right there from the middle down, you gotta notch just a little bit more to get that bracket in there because that's where that bracket's going to be fished through in there so you do got to notch that valence out right there and that's also where the tow hook's going through but that's where our bracket needs to go through so once you get all that done then you can put your bumper back on um, there was there was two 15 millimeters for this bracket right here that needed to come loose this was that 18 millimeter that we could not get to. You actually can get to this one up here, but we couldn't get to that one, so we had to pull the grill to do that. Um, this is actually the bolt. We're gonna have an upper bracket here in a second. We'll show you how that goes on. That upper um, bracket is actually gonna go to this bolt. So you can put the whole bumper back together, tighten everything up. Don't have to necessarily tighten that one up completely because we're gonna use that bolt here in a second. Um, Put your upper bracket on so go ahead and get your bumper back on and you know i think while we're here and it's more visible we're going to show you this um, you, you do this after you do this bracket after the bumper is back on here is what we call our lower frame bracket take the tow hook out because you're going to reuse the same bolts this bracket right there goes on the outside of the frame put your tow hook back in there and reuse the factory bolts. When you put that bracket on there, again, this is after the bumper's been put back on and you've trimmed the little valence and all that so that bracket, now you can kind of see why the valence has got to be trimmed. But put that bracket on there and get somebody, get a little level, and when you're put, putting that bracket on there and it's got just a little bit of play, before you tighten it, put a level on there, get it level, and then tighten your bumper bolts up. So. That's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna get our bumper back on there, get everything plugged back in. You can get the grill back on after you put the bumper on and put everything back together. And then we're gonna show you how to install the grill cart. Put your chrome bumpers back on there. This is a little grommet that I told you about that you can put in the kit there. Slip it over that. Instead of having a little metal sharp edge right there, we put that grommet in there. That way that wire has something to be on besides metal. This is our upper brackets. We didn't tighten, tighten them. They're a little bit loose, but you can snug them down on that upper bolt right there. That's the one we said don't tighten all the way. We said went ahead and put that bracket on there right away. It's a little easier for you to see where it is right now. You can see he's got the bottom mounting brackets on. Kind of tells you why we had to notch out that because of how tight it is to the tow hook. That inside one, the same on the outside. So we had to notch that out for that bracket to go in there. But once you got that on there, um, now we can put the grill back in there. And once the grill's up on there, and again, you got to plug back in your camera and all that good stuff on the grill um, and your little 
washer for your camera there, plug all that back in, get everything tight. This is going to be out, the grill's going to go in, then that snaps into your grill right there, and snaps all that back in there. Put your little two pin screws back in there on the side, get all that back together, and then we can put the grill guard up there. Put the grill guard up there, got a couple guys to help us. You can see you got your two bolts right here, they're half by one and three quarter bolts in the kit. That upper bracket that we had on there, it's the same, it's another half by one and three quarter bracket or bolt in that bracket. Once you got that in there and you got everything aligned and everything, what we do is we get right back, you can line the center of the rear view mirror and just make sure it's the same height on top of what we call the loops right here from side to side. You can line up the corner of the fender. You can also take the tape, make sure it's the same side to side. And once you got all that, just tighten that guy up, make sure all your bolts are tight. And that back bolt, that's when we said just snug it down until you get your upper bracket and all that on that guard. You can take like a 3 8 um, dry ratchet with a little extension and get in that grill there and then just tighten that um, 18 millimeter bolt up real good. Once you've got all that tight, all your sensors then, we took the factory housing. There's a little, there's some little clips right there that go in the chrome. What we did is just don't cut yourself, but hold there, and we just slice those little clips off because that helps that sensor go in there because this sensor bar is a little bit thicker than the chrome bumper. So once you've got that off of there, you can see how we got one of them in there. You just put that in there, and then from the back side, you slip that um, sensor back in there, and then you've got your little extensions in there that we had to do all that to get the extension through there and the sensor out. Just plug all your sensors back in. And that will be your install on that thing. Again, just make sure all your bolts are tight and everything. That's the install for the 25, 3500, 2024 GMC Girl Garden.